and I missed it, and I'm not sure how it happened, but now I've seen it, so we're gonna go back to it. Well, today we are in Walkersville, Maryland. We are sitting outside the Goodwill, and we are gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Well, this Goodwill is crowded today, so I'm not sure if we're gonna have a whole lot of luck. But who knows? The music's a little loud, but we're gonna do our best. I think that's contemporary. Yes, it is. And so is this, Stella Flora. <laughs> we're starting with the vases today because the figurines are occupied. What is this? That's pretty, isn't it? I bet mom would like that for the booth. 749 with the flowers. I'll pick that up. Oh, that thing in the back looks interesting. Frosted glass. Mm, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It has a sloppy seam and the frosted glass in it all the way through. It's like a coating. Some watercolor glass for a buck 49. I think this is out of New Jersey. I don't know. I've heard like. Israel, I've heard New Jersey, I just don't even know anymore, but it's Reuven glass, I believe, $1.49. There is a man skiing. That would probably have an underplate, so I'm going to stick it in here and see if we can locate an underplate for that. Um, let's check out this planter. Uh, that's probably contemporary. a giant uh, water pitcher back there, but that would have had a giant bowl to go with it. That's a chip, redone. Oh look, barbershop quartet mug. Hi. <laughs> quartet? Yes, four. There's four of them. $4.49. All right, I'll grab that. The art and the figurines. I actually have this exact same figurine at my shop and it's got a chip on the air. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Second time I've ever seen it. Let's see here. Looking for the poupee doll. You guys corrected my pronunciation of it. Still not here. I think it's never going to show up here. Oh, hello, goose. You are an interesting looking goose. That is for certain. E G. Huh. Kind of like the looks of this goose. I don't know. We'll take the goose. How much is it? $7.50. Okay, Goose, you can come with me. Fancy box. Alright. I have to remember to look at the bottom shelves because I always I always see the bottom shelves when I'm like ready to leave and that's when I find a bunch. What is this? The eyeball is like down farther on the pumpkin. Maybe that's supposed to be the cat's eyeball. I don't know. I'm very confused by it. There is a bank, I think. There's a slit in the head, but also the hole in the bottom is a little confusing. The last time I passed one of those up, I never heard the end of it. <laughs> Looks like it was made in Japan. $3.49. Vanity box. What do we have down here? Right. This is pretty. I don't need artwork, but I like it. It's really pretty. It's also really dirty. It's very dusty. I wonder if I could get that clean. Uh, $7.49. It's an original art. I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> I'll find a spot for that. Like a wedding box. It's very cheap. It's not Westmoreland. I almost feel like plastic. Nice stingle bowl, but it has a lot of chipping on it. Let's see a signature on that dish down there. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh, you know what? I think we looked at that the last time, didn't we? I don't think I realized it was signed the last time. Now I don't see the signature. Where did it go? I swear I just saw a signature. 
there on the corner for $6.49. So I'm gonna stick that in here. Get a fused glass. Wanted to go down this aisle, but then all of a sudden it got a little crowded, so I bailed. That's kind of pretty. Um, what's that dish? Oh, there's a really pretty fused glass bowl in the back. Let's see if I can get that one out. Oh, that looks like it could be Peggy Carr. I don't see a signature on it. But it has angels. It's very nice. This one down here reminds me of that artist who does the dogs. Do you know the one I'm thinking of? They sell his work at Walmart. What is his name? It's not obviously him. I can't remember his name though. The Marrow? Something like that. Alright, well they just wheeled out a fresh part. So I'm going to take a peek at that. Rosanna made in Italy. Here's a fresh cart. Let's see if there's anything good on that. Ooh, longer burger. Lots of longer burger. Sept animals. Fake fruit. <laughs> Vegetables. I don't know. I don't really see anything. Hair dye. Not anything for me, I'd say. There's a cool sheep in there, though. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> this is the insert, I think, to Py or Pyrex um, Longer Burger. Oh, these are all the inserts to the baskets. They have them all separate. Somebody's gonna be looking for those. That sucks that they got separated. Stick them over in there. Um, down below there is this snack set in the original box. I'm gonna pull that out. Uh, it's 1949. I'm gonna have to think about that. I know the snack sets don't sell for very much. Considering this one because it's in the original box. That's really all it's got going for it. This earlier, I had wanted to look through this box here. This little hostess set. It's usually a tea set. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, it is missing some pieces, but <laughs> I love those little boxes. Here we are looking at eBay sold comps. Um, this is a great place to look if you're selling on eBay. I heard someone recently <laughs> saying that you should not be looking at eBay sold comps to find your comps, but if you're gonna be selling on eBay, that's where people are buying, and you wanna compare it to other sales on eBay. Um, so it looks like we had one that sold for 18, one sold for 10, the one was with the original box. Um, this one's original box. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Not for that price. So I'm going to put it back on the shelf where it belongs. I'm not just going to throw it back on the shelf. And uh, we've got a few more places to check. I'm not sure if they'll be rolling out any fresh carts. They usually roll out a few at a time. So far it's only been one. Oh, it just got really quiet in here. <laughs> Let's check the baggies. Sometimes I find salt and pepper shakers over here. And, oh, there's some egg cups. Mom did not like the single egg cups I picked up for her the other day. She's like, well, those aren't really the style I'm looking for. Darn. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> but I tried. You know, I tried. And I can always just resell them. Oh, art glass pear and marble pear in the same baggie. That could be dangerous. All right, not much there. Those appear to actually be in decent condition. Somebody tried peeling this sticker. These are made in England. Um, trying to check them over for damage. Looks like there is a chip on that one. Yeah, there's some chipping on that. There's always chipping. The flowers are just so dainty. That's the problem. They're so dainty that they get chipped really easily. Those are nice looking. Probably silver plate. It looks like somebody tried pulling them apart. I'm gonna assume. Yeah, look at that. Somebody took them apart to see. I have saw it and I missed it and I'm not sure how it happened. But now I've seen it, so we're gonna go back to it. 
There is a cookie jar down here. Um, the last time I came across one of these, it was broken. So I don't know if this one's gonna be broken. I think it's McCoy, if I recall, I could be wrong. Is it the strawberry or is it an apple? I think this one might be an apple. Does it have McCoy on the bottom? I don't really make it out, but it's only $7.49. That's too funny. I literally said to you guys, I have to be careful looking at the bottom shelves because on my way out is when I find stuff because I admit, look, look. <laughs> literally heading out and now I'm finding this stuff that I looked at. This looks German. No markings on it. Oh, here comes another cart. I think I'm gonna, eh, well, it's all priced separately. I'm gonna go check out this fresh cart right after I pick up this ice cream sundae for $3.49. <laughs> Fake food, I'm telling you, it's got value. Let's see what is on this cart, shall we? That's pretty. It's carved from wood. Arbor International. What are these? Patron. <laughs> and there's Fiesta, Veggie Garden Pepper Mobile. That sounds super fancy. But I don't think it's like Fiesta brand. I kind of like that. Let's get a peek at the bottom. Originally $14.97. $49 for her. Hanning. Holland Mold. She's nicely painted though, right? I don't mind picking her up. $1.49. All right. I don't know, I'm not seeing much else. I think that might be it for me out of this cart. All right. I wanna get a closer look down here. What is a Mahjong Munchies? <laughs> There's two, two bowls there. Oh, Mahjong, that's a game, right? Isn't that the game with the tiles? Those are the ones I want to get a peek at, but those are world markets. This is weird, I think that goes on a tree. <laughs> Our tree at when we bought our house actually had one of these and it took me like months to actually notice it and Andrew and I were sitting on the back porch one day and I'm like, does that tree have eyes? And then like it yeah, it was it was really really uncomfortable when we realized that our tree has eyes. That's it for me. <laughs> I think we did good. Not bad. It's a large whole spend there today was sixty five dollars. I felt that like we got some pretty good stuff. Um, I did realize, <laughs> check out, that the cookie jar, even though the cookie jar itself was in good condition, the lid had one of the leaves broken off and repaired, but $7.50, I decided to take it anyway, and I'll sell it for a discount. Still make money on it, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here now, I'm head on down to the next kid well, but I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So, admittedly... That video at Goodwill was a little bit short, um, but I am actually here at the shop right now. I forgot my camera, so I'm filming on my phone. The audio is not the best, I know this. Um, I'm, in, I'm in the dark, I don't have my light on. I have my light box on, but I'm, I'm here again with my black light because the other day when we were looking for stuff for my whatnot sale, we went over my listed shelves. We didn't go over my Tubi listed shelves. And now that Shelby has processed a bunch of stuff, I thought it would be, I've honestly, I've already been going over like just this portion and I'm like, I should be filming this. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I already found that glows and then we're gonna continue down the shelf and see if we can find any more stuff that glows. Because we're having a glowy, it's not like all glowy stuff, but I wanted to include some glowy stuff. And so um, I'm basically raiding my shop for anything that glows. So here are the shelves currently. You can see Shelby was in yesterday. I think she was only in for an hour or two, which is crazy because this shelf was empty. There was nothing here except for maybe those 
two Hubok figurines and those guys in this teacup. That, that stuff was here. This is all new. So she loaded all of that up. She sprinkled in some goodies down here. But can you guess where I have situated the glowy things? Because I've grouped them all together. Are you ready? Check this out. I don't think it's going to pick it up this far. Oh. A little closer. A little closer. You know what? It's not even glowing. It's not even showing you that. Oh, there we go. Swan. This glows. It's not really picking up that good on my camera phone. But this glows. These glow, but they're not really showing it, which is a little frustrating, but they're a loose sight. I'm pretty certain they look green, but now I'm second guessing myself. I can't tell if this has a glow. I don't think it does. This definitely has an orange glow to it. And I can't remember the chemical in the glass that makes it glow orange. I think it starts with a C. I want to say cadmium. But then I'm thinking, wait a second, is that a spice that you put on food? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, um, but this has that orange glow. And I thought that might glow when I picked it up. So that was pretty cool. Um, but I kind of just went over the shelf. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about this. You guys never saw this video. You never saw this video because I had the faulty. I had the faulty microphone. Check this out. This is so super cool. Super cool. We'll do it over here in this box, though, because this box is dark. Are you ready for this? Stand by. <laughs> it is actual uh, black light art. I love you. Isn't it cute? I totally forgot about this. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so this is all black light paint, and um, it's intended to glow under black light. So that's super cool. I'm so glad that I decided to check my shelves, because I had forgotten about this. But this is definitely going, definitely going on the sale. And I think that when I conduct the sale, it would be cool to just do it all in the dark, at least the glowy stuff. That would be fun. Okay, so this is going in the whatnot sale. Now let's see if I can locate anything else that glows. I don't think that glows. I think it's just green. <laughs> oh, goodness. The bristles on that brush are glowy. I don't think that counts, though. That's jadeite, so I'm kind of surprised that doesn't glow, but... I don't know. There's a golf ball that's glowing. What is that thing that's glowing? You see that? Oh, it's, oh, it's the turtle. Remember when we picked up all those little shell creatures? His hat glows. Maybe we should do him as one of our buy it. No. Oh, we have two. Look. I didn't realize we had two. Their little hats glow. That's fun. Right. Down here is where I keep a lot of my, um, my buy it nows. There's something glowing in there. <laughs> this light is like on its last leg. Over here. Oh, yeah. This guy glows. This is supposed to have a lid, though. That's why I've hung on to it for so long. But maybe it's time to let it go. I, I swore I had the lid. That's why. It's I know it's supposed to have a lid. I thought maybe I, I the lid would turn up um, at some point somewhere. But I don't know. Maybe it's just time to let it go. All right, I think that's where we're at. We found some cool stuff though. Anything up here? Pew. Cernifus does not glow. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about these. The Blanco. Maybe it's time to let these go. Blanco candlesticks? Maybe. All right. I pulled these out of the Goodwill. I think two bucks a piece. But I've held on to them because I know they're worth a bit of money. Is that glow? No. All right. That glows, but I think that has a broken beak. I think that's why it's still sitting here. It does. It has a broken beak. I should probably just throw it away. I just feel guilty because 
pretty sure I broke the beak. So, guilt has kept it here for as long as it's been. Work. Come back to life. All right. I think we're good. I think we've got a few more things. We're putting together a sale. All right. I just put fresh batteries in here, and I'm feeling a lot. Wait a second. I just realized something. Does that glow? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I need to recheck these things. All right. How did I miss that? Jeez Louise, look at that yellow bowl. <laughs> Come here, you. I didn't know you glowed. I was including this in the sale, and I had no idea because I didn't check it beforehand. Check that out. It's orange. It's got that orangey stuff in it. That's really cool. <laughs> it's yellow, but it's also orange. And it's just on the bottom. It's like concentrated on the bottom, you can see. There's really no variation in the color. Let's see. In the light, there's really no variation. Huh. Very neat. Okay. Got to take another picture. Well, I think that was good. We got some more items added to the sale. Found some more glow glass. And um, I still have more to add. Definitely still have more to add, but I've got other things I gotta get done today. I actually forgot my camera. I said I, I said I forgot my camera. I've gotta go home, I've gotta get my camera, and then I have to go actually filming today um, and get some content for the channel. So, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> so long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.